Hi guys, it's Jamie here and today I want to show you a little project that I made with the 12x12 and also two double-sided A4s by using A4 or US letter head paper double side printed meant that there was leftover paper which was then used on the tags. So let me show you the 12x12 first to make this small wallet or happy mail and uh, very very easy to do and totally self-contained i all i've done is put a napkin over the front and then here you have a potential decorating or writing space the same on this page here and the same over so as you can see i've yet to decorate this one on this page you have a tuck spot here just a little one something like ticket stubs could go in there a pocket top loading which is quite deep also have a side loading pocket so basically three spots on that one page and again that one's quite deep and you can write on the reverse of that and then you have this floating pocket which is quite small but is top loading and you could put something in there as well then you have the back page that you could write on so as you can see that could either sit in a pocket or a tuck spot in a a largest junk journal will be a little journal within itself for a holiday or a long weekend or be happy mail a little gift to a friend i want to show you the two a4 or us letter paper ones using the cinderella and beyond printable so same basic principle in design covered with a napkin or just over this edge not over the front because i felt the paper was jolly enough and some lace so you just have a napkin covering over that join there and then when you open it up i've done some extras with this one because i had the spare bits of paper so here i added a little belly band and put some lace down it and with the spare papers and the ephemera we've made some cards which are glittery and then backed them with the spare paper so that would be your writing spot. Here you have a straightforward writing page and the same on the other side, but with some lace trim. On that tuck spot, you can see I've put this from the kit inside and again, backed it with the paper. Everything's been ink stained. You can see how much stuff you can get in here. You could get more in this pocket, by the way. I've got three tags in this one, all from the kit, all made with the papers backing them and some lace and some gold bits and some ephemera from the kit so that goes into that top loading pocket and in the side loading pocket i've only put one in but you could get more in there you can see that it's quite deep but i've put one large tag in there again just collaged with a bit from the kit and paper on the reverse and everything is on craft card so these are very stiff very thick here we just have a writing space and this time I put that floating pocket up high because the paper I used was the one with the curtain fringing and I felt that would be at the top of the page not the bottom and in this little pocket I've put some extra bits so a little tag thing there again you can write on the back of that this one a very very small collage you can still see that gold foiling paper on the back this one from the kit again just foiled and edged and covered at the back and that goes into this little floating pocket on the final part you have another page you can write on and then the closure and obviously on any of these spare pages you could add extra pockets i wanted to do it with some craft card two bits of A4, some scraps that I had from previous projects, but not many, and the ephemera. So I wanted to keep it limited, but you could add more pockets, more flips, more tucks if you wanted to. And the reason I kept the design limited was I was basing it on what you could do with a 12 by 12, which wouldn't give you any spares. So this is without spares, you would now have to go in and make and fill this with ephemera. What we're going to do in the following video is we're going to go through the scoring and cutting and putting together of the 12 by 12 from one piece. And then that's going to be followed by the same process, but 
the next time with the two A4s or US letter size pieces. There will not be any decorating of tags videos because they are all part of the kit and it is simple collage and I wanted to keep the video short. On sheet of 12 by 12, which I've already cut out for you, but I'm going to tell you the sizes that I've cut. This is eight by 10 and a quarter, or in centimeters is 20 by 26. This one, so you're only cutting three pieces, is the full length, so that's your 12 by four, or about 10 centimeters. And then this little one at the bottom is eight by two, or 20 by four and a half centimeters. This strip here is going to be the cover. First thing I'm going to do is score it in the middle and then score a centimeter that way and a centimeter that way. That's about half an inch. Inch to centimeters conversions are not perfect. So then what we're going to do is that is your centerpiece. You can fold this one that way and this one that way so that you end up with that W shape like that and then what you're going to do is seal those two down on the outside to do that I'm going to use some very thin double-sided tape you can use wet glue I shall open it back out because I can see where my creases are and on one side, add some double-sided tape. Now I'm going to bring it back together. And push it together. And that is the little cover. I'm going to open it out. Use my cut-off card, store card just to cut some angles from that seam to there. You can do this by eye, you don't have to use a template for this. Now you can see that when it's folded together you have a slight slant inwards. For the time being we're going to set that little cover to one side and we're going to take the main piece and fold it in half this way and then I'm just going to turn it and fold it in half along that long edge so making quarters on the paper so you can see it will fold that way and that way so once you've done that Go back to that original way round so that it's longer facing you, shorter coming towards you. And we're going to cut that top left hand quarter out. Okay, we're going to keep that because we'll be using that as well. With the three quarter page, we're going to bring this one in and then we're going to create a little flip down, doesn't have to be the whole thing, it can just be whatever you fancy and it can be at any angle, it doesn't have to be dead on. So I might do mine there. And when you're happy with it, that is just a little way to make that a bit more decorative. Once that's done, we open it back out and on this opposite bottom panel, we're going to do a half, a little notch, half circle punch. And I'm gonna go for quite a shallow little notch like that, Not nothing dramatic. I'm going to make a pocket here by running some tape along here and then up to that notch. and then fold that over. With this flap, you can either glue it all down or you can create a little tuck spot. I'm going to create a little tuck spot, which means I'm just going to run some tape along that outer edge. 
I fold it down or back down, we now have a tuck spot here. So currently we have a pocket here, a tuck spot here, and now we want a side pocket. So do the side pocket, we're going to bring that back over like that. To create the side pocket, we're going to want to glue it along this bottom piece here. Bring this bit back over and you have a side pocket. I know that bit's open. A top loading pocket and tuck spot all out of that one piece of paper. With the other two pieces, we just need to do a little bit of scoring. So again, long side along the top of the scoreboard, short side down. We're going to score in one centimetre or about half an inch. We're going to do the same on this again at that one centimetre or half an inch. We're going to cut some angles in. So you've got your score line here. Hopefully you can see that. Again, I have my little template. You don't need to use one. You can just go by eye. And I'm going to cut in from the score line to the free edge. And we repeat that for this one. So again, that's your fold line. I'm going to take my little template and create a cut. And hopefully you can see that both of those have now been cut with this little page and where it's been folded. What we're going to do is take some liquid glue this time because we want a bit of play time and run a bit of glue just along the edge. Then where we have this free piece here, what we're going to do is slide this into here. Leave, don't go right up to that crease, leave a little gap so it can fold over easily line it all up while it's still wet you can press it down this very slim strip we're going to fold it in half up to that crease point and it's open back up we're going to do make this into a very small pocket by going along the bottom with the tape and then up this side with the tape bringing that over and popping it down. Now, if I get this, you can see that there is a pocket there. Similar to before, I'm going to turn this over because remember this is still open here. Add a touch of glue to this edge. Slide this into here and it's up to you whether you'd go halfway whether you go three quarters, whatever you fancy doing. So I like to create layers, so I'm not going to go three quarters or half, I'm sort of in the middle of it. Bring it in so it can still close. Fold it down, make sure everything's in and lined up using a wet glue, you have time. All of that's together, your spare piece as a page, your pocket, your tuck spot, your side pocket, the little pocket at the back, which is like a floating one, I suppose you would call that. We go back to the cover. With the cover, you have this bit sticking up. Remember, it was glued together that way. And so now you still have this slit here. We are going to glue that onto there. So that will mean running some glue down the W part. So we're going to put some glue along that edge and the other side. Slide that in there to place it. We just want to make sure that everything can open and close. This can now be decorated. Monthly Creators Club, I wanted to show you that just because the Cinderella papers are not 12 by 12, 
doesn't mean that you can't make that pocket. The way we're going to do it is I took two pieces of A4 double-sided. Now it does mean that you get a few extra cutaways, but that's okay because we can use them in other projects or this is going to need tags and things to go inside it so you could use the cutaways to decorate those. Therefore, using the same system, everything has been cut roughly to the same size. I'm not gonna say exactly the same size because it isn't. What we did with the first one was we took that halfway point and just like before, we're going to do a score line either side of that halfway point. I'm gonna go a centimeter that way or half an inch. We want to decide what we want as the front cover. So I think I want the people as the front cover. So I'm going to bend it that way. So we're making that W shape, one in, two out. That is the front cover now of this little mini book. Opening it back up and a piece of tape along one edge. And then push that down and push the other two together. And then that gets set to one side. As before, that has now been folded that way and that way. And we'll be cutting out that top left hand corner. As before, what we did was we folded it and then we created a randomish looking tuck spot. Gonna seal that down with this one. Watch, just a small one. And then to make that pocket, we are going to seal along that edge and up to there. You could actually recut that so that the whole thing is a notch there. Let's try it. I don't think that looks odd. We want to leave this loose and this loose so it's just that bottom one. That is our double pocket with tuck spot. Also have this spare page, which isn't looking very straight. So let's straighten that up. And then we have this one as well. And what we did was we did some scoring into those. Every single tuck there, that one, and that one. We need to do those little cuts. This page into here. Liquid glue along this edge. A bit of a wiggle. You need it to be not quite up to that score line because you want it to fold. So as soon as you've tested it's folded, you can, while it's a wet glue, you can wiggle it round and make sure it fits. This one went at the back, similar system, hooking it into there and then wherever you want to put it. As it's fringing, I might put it slightly higher this time. On the 12 by 12, I put it lower. That's the edge that's gonna go in. And again, as soon as you're happy with its placement, close and hold. Now you have a page there, tuck spot, side pocket, top pocket. Then you have this which can also hold things. You need to put glue along the crease part of that W and slide the whole package onto that cover. Now we're going to wiggle onto there, hoping that's on, throw the cover over. So that is our basic little insert booklet for the Cinderella kit. And then you can just decorate it up and make some tags and do whatever you want. I hope you enjoyed that little construction video. If you're watching on YouTube, please do all the YouTubey things, which is like, share, subscribe, comment, and the rest of it, because that helps support the channel. If you're watching in the free Facebook group, do take a look at our Creators Club where you get these beautiful papers and all these bits of ephemera and extra tutorials that are not being shown in the free group. 
And if you're in our monthly creators club, obviously this was not one of your exclusive videos, but I did think you'd enjoy this little project.